Good morning from Olomont. Uh, this is one of the oldest Czech towns and it was the third most important town in the country and it was vying with the city of Brno for primacy in the Middle Ages. And behind me is the column of the Holy Trinity built in the 1700s, early 1700s. And over here is an astronomical clock, which we're going to take a closer look a bit later. Also built uh, around the year 1600. And so this this is an awesome town. It's it's got one of the longest heritages in Czech history. And in its own right, it's an amazing town. But today I'm here for a slightly different reason. And the reason is the Olomotske Tvarushki. And <laughs> this is the stinkiest cheese in the world with nothing coming close to it. I've traveled the world, I've tasted hundreds of type of cheese and uh, this particular cheese is something else and it has to be <laughs> shown and explained and tasted. So for, uh, for a better description we are going to go to a nearby town of Loštice, where it's actually manufactured and there are museums and that the cheese has 700 year old history. It was first produced in, in the late 1400s and 1500s. There are records of it. So after we leave Olomots, Olomots is the town where the cheese was sold. There were huge markets here in the medieval times and this is where the cheese uh, gained its reputation. Just look at the town. It's quite awesome. And uh, this was a town on the crossroads of trade routes north, south, west, east and in the Middle Ages it was one of the most important trading towns in Central Europe. Exactly on time. Good morning from the town of Loštice. This is a town which is adjacent, uh, very near to the town of Olomouc. And um, while Olomouc has been a very important trading center, the third biggest city in Czechia um, several hundred years ago, Today it's a smaller town, but it's famous for its cheese, smelly cheese. It's called the Olomoutske Tvarushki. And um, Olomouc is the main trading center for this cheese, but it's actually made right here in this town of Loštice. And behind me you can see a shop, a special shop, which sells this cheese 
and next is even a cafe which sells the <laughs> the Olomouc Tvarushki Zmrzlina which means ice cream and so it's this town is all about this smelly cheese and uh, I dare to say that it's the smelliest cheese in the world I haven't seen tasted any so here is the shop I'll zoom in And here is the cafe which sells the Tvarushki ice cream. And every restaurant in this town has the Tvarushki in its menu. Right there is a restaurant. This is a very small town, probably no more than 20,000 people and, and they have been making this uh, Tvarushki cheese for 700 years now. So let's go inside and check out and maybe taste it. We are standing in front of the Olomotske Tvarushki Museum and it's even open on Sunday as well as all these other restaurants and nothing is open on Sunday uh, certainly no shops in the Czech Republic but in this town they just couldn't close this let's go in and check it out so guys this is it this is it So this is it guys, this is the real thing, Olomotske Tvarushki. They have been making them here for 700 years, as I said before, and they've got various types. And, and I can tell you, it stings like crazy, it's an acquired taste, I've tasted it before, I'll taste it again, but it's, there is no cheese stinkier than this one. But it's delicious as well. But this is the museum. You can see it's very popular with locals and tourists alike. And they got all types, big, small. Okay, well, a 700 year tradition lives on and kicking. shop is running every day, never closes. And we are waiting for our Tvarushki special lunch in this restaurant. Just across the street from the museum. So, guys, this is kofola, a typical Czech cola-like drink. Here is the original Tvarushek, not fried. And here are the fried Tvarushki as a meal. But this is the real deal right here. Let's dig in. Uh. 
Okay, guys, this is it for 700 years, same. Real neck coil. So guys, now that I've tasted the Olomotske Tvarushki again, after a very long time, it's time for me to head down south. So I'll end the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.